Hey, so in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how you can import this armor or Unreal Asset inside Character Creator 4. So let's start with the pieces that I have uh, assigned all together. So uh, this is a heavy armor from the marketplace. In this case, I use this one, the gloves, like this and the leg and the shoe combined this one so you might be wondering that why a leg and the shoe uh, you know the pant and the shoe together i mean this is uh, the body will be hidden nonetheless so why go for separate pieces but it's up to you uh, if you want or not it's just personal preferences all right okay so now let us export this asset you just right click on it you go to asset action export i already had exported this but i will show you how i did uh, just keep these things as default as possible if we actually get that in and just click export so i did all of this uh, from gloves as well as well as legs all right so what we need to do is export the material it's a bit tricky but it's not that tough it's just a time consuming nothing more at least that's what i did uh, for me at least so what you need to do just you just type t chest night to find the specific and there you go so what you do you right click asset action export as well i already did as you can see so yeah so you export everything so you basically will get three textures from each of the pieces a diffuse an albedo normals and the orm what is orm orm combines three textures o for ambient occlusion r for roughness m for metallic I'm going to explain later how to uh, break these three materials in order to use inside CC4 as CC4 and iClone does not support ORM yet. Realization, please do something about it. Uh, let's go to character creator 4. So I already have a character created and ready to use it. So what we do, we just go import and we import the chest knight. As a prop, we fix the um, pivot point, the mid, and just roughly put it over here. As you can see, it's pretty much aligned all together with his body. So you just need a little bit of time and, you know, uh, taking some time to pose all these things. Uh, talking about pose, let me show you something might be helpful so you go to your edit pose and to your hand i'm just going to yeah yeah so you don't have to repeat the same thing on the right hand as well what you can do you just click pose mirror left to right if you uh, worked on your left side, you do this. If you worked on your right side, you do this one. So I worked on the left and it mirrored already, as you can see. Okay, so next, what you need to do that, uh, click this, go there and uh, pick parent. For me, I'm picking parent on the root. So now what you can do, now you can transfer skin weight all right apply default and yeah it has already been skinned so you do the entire thing with the rest of it like um, legs prop and uh, there are some uh, alignments as well in this case uh, let me show you 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 align with the foot just into as close as you can get with the height so i think yeah 
this sounds this sounds fine yeah this sounds fine you go to edit then you do this yeah Okay, so once you're done, same thing, pose mirror left to right, and it mirrored. And then you just do the same thing on, uh, oh yeah, uh, you need to attach it, click on this one, pick current, as well as you do the same thing on the gloves and just keep it as close as possible with the alignments and all sorts of things it doesn't have to be perfect on everything so i'm going to skip that part i'm just going to align some of it and you know scales up with the, uh, the confirm thing and all these things and I will come back after um, once I'm done with it. Okay, I'm done with my alignment and I used, um, you know, hide body meshes tool to hide everything out of it. I'm sure you know how to do it. So I just skip that part so we can come to the right point and everything of this tutorial to save time. So what's next? Um, let me apply the two textures that we have gotten, like the diffuse and the normal, and then we will work out the extraction of ORM. So I'm start, I'm going to start with, um, the chest night. I want you to pay attention on the opacity once I apply base color. So as you can see, the instant I applied the base color, there is a new texture added as well, which is the opacity for this. So since I exported this as a PNG, that information came with it as well. So that that was awesome. That That is great. So yeah. So you apply normals. I will do the same for the gloves. As it does not have any transparency, it only applies a white texture, a little bit of black over here. You don't need that as, at all. I, I think it has to do with this, but so yeah, there's no transparency needed in this one as well, but it's up to you if you want to keep, keep it in or not. I do the same thing on the leg as well. Same. Normal, you have to remember, no bump, but normal. It means it's a normal uh, texture. Okay, so we are done with the two texture. Now it's time to extract the ORM file so that we can get the roughness, metallic, and AO. So I am using Photoshop. I am sure there are other softwares as well, like GIMP and others that have the same thing to do with it, I guess. So what you do, you import the um, ORM file inside uh, Photoshop. You go to channel, I just wanted to show you. So this is the AO file, this is the roughness, and this is the metallic file. So go on this side, and then you can see split channels. Once you click, you will get four channels. The AO, roughness, and the metallic. You you don't need this transparency because you already have the transparency from that. So I already exported this, uh, as you can see over here, to save some time. Okay, so go to chest. Metallic, occlusion, and roughness. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty similar to the one that you have seen in Unreal Engine. And not that great about since there is a huge differences between lights, but you got my point. So I will do the same on gloves. And on 
leg. Yeah, there you go. So let me do a little bit of animation. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. And there is another thing, as you can see a little bit of um, plot simulation over here. I forgot to mention, you have to do it manually. Don't be afraid. I got you covered. I already done that and I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to do that, we open Photoshop and we open our chest night diffuse. So I'm going to show you how you can make a weight map. I'm just trying to use my, you know, I try to use, uh, manually doing as much as possible. So to save some time and all these things. So what you need to do, you just need this part to be animated or weight, weight mapped. Nothing, everything else will be static. All right. So what you do, you make a new layer. Then um, press G, G for this. Uh, gradient, paint bucket and 3D map. I'm going to use pen bucket. So click it here. Then uh, hold control or on Mac command and click you already have a selection over here after that you create a mask click here you have a mask what you do right now is just use this mark we tool and just click on it uh, press um, X B for brush so you paint on it as you can see due to the mask layer this is not going beyond that so let me let me show you what i meant and you will understand okay so if i paint right now this select if i paint right now it is going to paint here as well so this is not what we want right so click again create a mask then press this one not the mask one this one the texture press x select the white color then go to your marquee tool and just select this part there you go then press b again and start painting let me select again you go to filter and then you do inverse so what's going to happen, press X, go to black, raise a little bit, paint it, all of it, then control D. So now you're getting a weight map for your clothing. I just paint a little bit, a little bit lower over here. You can do that as well as I've shown you how to do it. So once you're done, uh, you just go export and you know as a PNG and then you save it and then after that you just go and just double click and pick it up and then you just fiddle with it how you please this is my setup for this one so yeah one more thing you are ha if you're having this kind of uh, issues uh, you can fix it very easily uh, what you do, uh, deselect, go this to, into this tab, collision shape. You have to work with your collision shape. So my right now, my collision shapes is a bit weird at this moment. So what I do, I just delete these collision shapes and I create a new one. Active. I don't use capsule. I'm using box in this case. It's a bit helpful in this in this term. It uh, doesn't have to be, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work on every collision that you came across. So yeah, you go a bit, a little down to your desired place. I can, I can, I can, yeah, scale a little bit more. 
Ah, a little bit. Yeah. I think yeah, this 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 looks fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So let's check it out. Yeah. A little bit poke through, you can you can work on it. You can you can work on it as as well. Like, you know, um raising the collision a little bit, scaling it up a little bit. Or you can just put it a little bit behind like this and then check up. There you go. If you see this kind of issues, yeah, I forgot to mention. If you see this kind of issues, you just go to your collision and just reduce this one a little bit. A little bit, yeah. There you go. I mean, yeah, you have to work a little bit. Yeah, this one is a lot. Yeah, there you go. It's working now. Anyways, so I hope it's helpful for you all. Um, I'm working on a new cinematic. Um, pretty much inspired by uh, Dark Souls and a new Lords of the Fallen. So I'll be posting. This is one of the character, I mean character, I'll be working on. I already um, finished this character. Let me show you. I worked on it. So let me show you the final look of it. There you go. So you might be wondering, how did I get this one? That's pretty easy. You just go to this and just use a blend texture, like this kind of texture and just blend it. I used overlay, you can use multi. So you can see, you get a lot of options and you can reduce it as well to your desire. So yeah, that's all. I'm using a cape from Paladin Playset. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helps to you all. Um, if you have any question, like always, feel free to let me know and just put a comment on it. And if you like what you see, just like and subscribe. That will be a lot of help for this channel. And for the future tutorial, I would like to know what you need on the next tutorial, what kind of um, uh, tutorials you want or any kinds of tips and tricks. I will try my best to cover it as much as possible. So till then, this is uh, World of Zen. Goodbye.